Labour MP for Liverpool Wavertree, Luciana Berger, visited Liverpool Screen School to take a look at the facilities on offer and gave an exclusive interview to JMU Journalism. She spoke about her concerns over the rise in university tuition fees. Well, I'm incredibly concerned about the government's uh, new policies on not only um, higher education with the uh, introduction of £9,000 fees, but also on their scrapping of the education maintenance allowance. I have to look first at the EMA, this 7,700 young people right across Merseyside who currently benefit from £30 a week to help them get to college, pay for their lunch and ease on books. Many of those students who I've met um, who have gone through university, I was at Liverpool University the other day, I met a girl called Danielle and she said if she hadn't have got her EMA she would never have gone to college and she would never be in the position she's in today about to graduate with a first class honours degree in, in languages so it's right across the piece I'm incredibly concerned. Um, raised it in Parliament, every single Labour MP voted against the government's plans to uh, well, essentially raise tuition fees threefold to £9,000 a year. Um, and another issue which particularly affects us here in Liverpool is the government uh, revoking the right for international students to get visas. A uh, big issue when our local economy depends so much on international students that bring around £30 million to Liverpool University alone. That's not including the other two universities and the knock-on positive effects that, that brings to our local economy. So lots of concern and I'm raising it at every available opportunity. Um, when Jo Anderson withdrew Liverpool City Council from the big society project last week and mm. described it as a big con, what would you say to that? I completely support Councillor Jo Anderson's decision to withdraw from the big society. Mm. The government can't say in one breath that they want voluntary sectors to thrive and grow and, and do all these great things when at the same time they're cutting off their legs and taking away all their funding and taking away their funding in a massive way. Here in Merseyside, we've seen it r since uh, the new government came into power, they cut our area-based grant, which so many voluntary groups right across the city depend on. Uh, this is before the, uh, before the budget and the comprehensive spending review, and we've seen the cut after cut after cut. Um, the early intervention grant, which helps those groups that support our Sure Start and children's centres. Those voluntary groups are tiny organisations. They can't make efficiency savings if they don't have extensive back office functions. Um, they often rely on one or two people to organise the volunteers that this government thinks um, can do, uh, do the work of the public sector, but they need some funding to start off with, and they can't do it alone. You personally, you faced a rough ride from the local media when you first arrived in the pool after admitting you didn't know who Bill Shankly was. How did you cope with that? Um, we all make mistakes, um, but ultimately when I was selected to be Labour's candidate for Liverpool Waver Tree, it wasn't off the back of my football knowledge. I never professed to know about every, well, everything to do with football. I wasn't selected to be the next Rafa Benitez, uh, so um, I, took, I, took, I took the hit. Um, so what was your reaction to the appointment of Kenny Dalglish? Um, well, it, Liverpool, well, doing okay at the moment. Um, I know that obviously the result with Chelsea last week was a big surprise, so we'll see what happens. Um, was it a strange feeling to win the way that you seat on the night that the party lost the election? Um, it was a very tough election campaign, it's fair to say. It was uh, the constituency that the Lib Dems targeted in the North West uh, and it was uh, the focus of lots of media attention, uh, particularly the local media um, within the North West. When you're in the campaign it's difficult to know how it's going. Um, obviously we saw kind of the figures nationally um, I think it's testament to the number of people that got involved in the campaign and the number of volunteers that joined us knocking on doors that we had the turnout that we had, an increase of 10% on the last election and we won it on the night which was fantastic.